Today I'm going to be doing a four drizzy technique and a four close sign technique. What you're going to need is your part A and part B of ice resin, mixing cup and a stick, one of the disposable brushes, some self clamping tweezers, I like to use a little spoon from one of the embellishment packs. I'm going to be using German glass glitter in silver and the Relique powder in garnet. And the last thing I need is this little metal heart that I picked up at a local bead show. It was very inexpensive, but it's got these beautiful recesses in them. So let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is clamp my piece so I won't be touching it and I forgot to mention I need a heat tool as well. So I'm going to clamp my piece down, open up the garnet iced enamels and using the spoon I'm going to pour it where I want it to be and I'm doing this quite thickly because I do want quite a thick coverage and this is the focal sign technique any extra or if you need to move it around a bit more or if it's got anywhere that you don't want it to be, that is what the little brush is for. And I think I put a little bit too much, so I'm just going to knock a little bit out. It doesn't have to be too perfect because it will smooth out when you add the heat to it. And I'm also going to put some over here. So I want to make sure I'm getting all of the parts of the enamel that I want. Thick parts, thin parts, all the different particles. And then I'm just going to brush it into place with my brush. I went a bit too top heavy with the particles, so I need to brush more off than what I thought. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm going to go and take my heat tool and then heat it from underneath. So before I start heating it, I'm just going to clean up because I don't want any of the iced enamels to go solid on my work surface. And I'm just moving my tools out of the way. Now I'm just making sure that I've got this properly in hand and it's not going to fall over when I heat it. I'm going to be heating it from underneath. This is why I've got these tools to hold it this metal will get very hot so the first thing I'm going to do is turn my heat tool on and you'll probably not hear it because I've got a really good camera but then I'm going to let it heat up if you put it straight on it's just going to blow cold you need to make sure that your heat tool is actually hot before you start okay there we go and it's going to be a weird angle because I need to make sure I don't hit my camera. And it will take a little while to heat up. So I will fast forward through. And here we go. You can see it is starting to go and turn into enamel. Mm. 
And now it's mostly gone from powder to enamel. So I'm going to turn my heat gun onto the top, heat it from above, and that will make sure that all of the powder is melted and that all of them go to a flat surface rather than a bubbly surface. And I'm trying my best not to tip it at this stage because if I tip it, it will just fall out. Now this will be really, really, really hot, so I'm not going to touch it with my fingers. Look at that enamel shine. Isn't that beautiful? And you can see, because the enamel has got loads of different chips of different colours in it, you can see how there's beautiful gold, silver, bits of black, all bits of interest. So I'm going to let that cool down. I'm going to let it cool down naturally. And while that's cooling down naturally, I'm going to make a small amount of resin. Following the manufacturer's instructions. So I'll be back when this is ready. So I've now mixed my resin and I'm just waiting the recommended few minutes and that will let any bubbles evaporate. And I'm looking at my piece, it's still a bit warm to the touch and I can see in a couple of places where the enamel went where I didn't want it. It doesn't matter here because of what I'm going to do next but I've got a little bit here and while it's still a little bit wet with a sharp object like a pokey tool you can just flick them out and get rid of them okay my piece is very uneven it doesn't lay flat because of this as you can see so what I need to do is balance it on something that is flat to make sure that it's flat so this actually works really well so while I dry this and I set it aside to dry I'm going to leave it balanced on top of the iced enamels box okay. I'm taking my mixed resin the bubbles are releasing nicely it's very damp here so I've got quite a few bubbles but they will release on their own it's not a problem I'm going to take the original brush that I used earlier and just knock out any red bits of enamel that are in it and I'm gonna pick up some of the resin and then I'm just gonna brush it lightly in this recess here I don't want much at all I just want a really really light coating the excess resin that I've mixed because you do need to mix the minimum amount every time I'll use in a mold or on another project so I've got a very tiny amount of resin in this recess here I'm going to take the German glass glitter and I'll do it over the lid and I'm just going to pour it into place like so it has gone out of bounds a little bit that's fine I'm just going to use my tool again and I'll just take off the pieces that I don't want there and move them around because the resin will be wet for quite a while a good few three or four hours I can just move these into place or knock off bits that have just got stuck
So I'm going to set this aside to dry now. You can see, like that, beautiful. And then I will string it and turn it into a beautiful piece of jewellery. Bye.